We're going to cover an application of carbon monoxide building up in a room and be able to calculate the concentration. Now this is a part two. Uh, the part one of this uh, video sequence was the derivation of the material balance. But let's go ahead and re just review um, this, uh, this problem. So carbon monoxide uh, pollution is potentially fatal. Um, you know, there's, there's uh, different alarms you can put into a room, especially with those with combustion sources. Um, we're going to have uh, a 200 square foot room with 9 uh, foot high ceilings that have, uh, you know, a very small leak. Um, it's actually going to be um, 0.1 milliliters per second. We're going to reduce this a little bit. Um, and, uh, and then also constant temperature. Okay, so we want to calculate uh, the amount of time it gets to uh, 35 parts per million over an eight hour workday and uh, with a maximum exposure level of um, 200 parts per million. The, the OSHA standards are 35 parts per million. That's a time weighted average. Okay, so that's not a maximum value, that's a time weighted average over an eight hour workday. But the maximum exposure level is uh, the 200 ppm. Okay, so in this uh, first video tutorial, we showed how to uh, derive the material balance, and so now we're going to numerically simulate it with MATLAB and uh, and Python. Okay, so um, if we go to uh, this link here, um, so first of all, let me just show how to navigate to this page. Um, so what we'll do is we'll first of all just go to the the apmonitor.com homepage. Okay, so that's just apmonitor.com, and then um, if you visit um, the documentation page. Okay, so that'll bring you um, here, and then if you come down to applications, just go ahead and open that on the right side, and then go to chemical, and then we'll navigate to this CO gas um, page. Okay, so this is where you can find <coughs> the uh, the files for this, and uh, if we if we look here, if we download this, um, and uh, you know if we go ahead and save that. Um, and then open it, um, we'll see a number of files. So the first thing that we need to do is extract um, these files. So um, uh, the way to do that is uh, to hit this extract button and, uh, and then you can hit extract all. Okay, so if you don't extract them um, and leave them in zip file format, it may not uh, work. So let me go down to the extracted files here. And, and what we're gonna do first of all is go ahead and just create um, co dot um, apm file. Okay, so the way to create that is just right click and create a new file, just a text document, and uh, just call it co dot apm. Okay, so you've got to erase the extension there and uh, create a new extension co dot apm. Okay, and uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, edit this and create our model file. So uh, what we need to do first of all is uh, create a parameter section. So these are going to be some fixed inputs for our system. Uh, we have pressure. This is going to be one atmosphere um, or 1.01 times 10 to the fifth pascals. We're going to put everything in SI units. Temperature we're going to say is 300 Kelvin. That's about uh, room temperature. Um, and then uh, ideal, or this is a universal gas constant. That's in joules per mole Kelvin. So it's 8.314. And this is the volume of the room. We had 200 uh, square foot room with a nine uh, foot ceiling. And then we just have the conversion factor here that um, gives us the, uh, you know, the feet to meters. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, cube that as well because it's in cubic uh, meters. Okay, so the next thing is using the ideal gas law. So this is, um, this is going to be P times, that's pressure times the volume divided by the uh, universal gas constant uh, and also divided by the temperature. Temperature has to be in absolute uh, form, but that's going to give us a number of moles that are in that room. Okay, now we have a volumetric flow rate coming in. Um, as I mentioned, it's uh, 0.1 milliliters per second. Okay, so that's the flow rate coming into the room, uh, either from a combustion source or um, we're assuming that this is a, a gas leak that's coming into the room. Um, and so we're going to be able to calculate our molar flow rate coming into the room again with the ideal, ideal gas law. Okay, so that's just going to be pressure, but instead of volume, it's going to be the volumetric flow rate and then divided by the R and the T. Okay, and then um, we also derived in the last video, we showed how 
the moles coming out is equal to the moles coming in, and <clears throat> the only moles coming in are the CO uh, coming in. So there's our um, an out term. Okay, so now we're going to calculate uh, some variables. Now the first one is going to be the um, the mole fraction of CO. Um, this, we're actually going to express it in parts per million. Okay, and then uh, we're going to write an equation. Now in this in this case, uh, here's our <clears throat> Here's our uh, material balance. This is the uh, symbol to do the uh, the derivative of uh, y co. So this is dy co dt. If you use the dollar sign, that's the derivative. And then I put this um, conversion factor in here. This is just so that y co is going to be in parts per million. Now the other thing that we want to do is also express the time weighted average. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is define time the integral of the uh, CO concentration, and then I'll also do um, the YCO time weighted average. Okay, so we want to calculate these three as well. So we'll have three additional equations down below. So I'm just going to set up time by just doing the derivative of time with respect to time is equal to one. Okay, so that's just the first equation to be able to calculate um, time. Okay, and then I have the integral um, so uh, this is normally expressed as um, I, the integral of YCO, equals the integral of, um, of YCO, okay? But I'm just going to differentiate both sides. And so the differential of the integral of YCO is equal to YCO. Okay, so that allows me to put it into differential uh, form. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is the um, YCO time-weighted average. Now I could put this into... Um, let's say um, this form uh, where I divide by time okay um, and that would be possible as well it's just that time starts at zero so you might be dividing by uh, zero there so I'm just going to move it over to uh, this side of the equation okay um, okay there we go um, and if you if you don't have syntax highlighting for um, notepad plus plus um, you can also download that. Um, let me just show you that uh, briefly. Um, again, if you come back to AP Monitor documentation and then go over to users, um, and uh, actually, it's, I guess it's going to be in download. Um, there's the editor. Okay, so it shows you how to set up um, and edit these files in Notepad, or in uh, I think you can also do this in gedit as well. Okay, so that's just how to display. If you don't have a, a notepad or a text editor, you can use Notepad++ for this example. Okay, so um, let me come back here. So there's our there's our model file. Now you'll notice, um, as opposed to the last video where we had to integrate this ourselves, we'll let the solver integrate this, but also these other equations as well. We'll let it solve those too. Okay, so um, Good, so I have that. Now I need to set up uh, my time. Okay, now I'm going to just, first of all, um, you know, let me just set up, I guess I already have that open. Um, let me go ahead and just set up my time, and then I'm going to give it some time values that I want to uh, calculate at. Now my, my model is in minutes, uh, so I need to define uh, the time points where I want to see the solution in minutes. So let me just calculate after the first minute, two minutes, four minutes, eight minutes and then on half hours and then on hourly basis. And then we'll just go up to um, eight hours. Okay, so 480 minutes would be an eight hour day. Um, and we wanna do that because we wanna get the time weighted average over an eight hour period. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and, and close that. I'll save it. It's in CSV file format. So you gotta make sure you you select, um, you know, the, the comma delimited um, and then you can click save and I'll go ahead and replace it. And it says, do you want to keep it in this format? I'll say yes. Okay, and then it'll exit. Now, also, if I open this in, for example, Notepad++, um, you'll see that it's just, um, you know, time with those values, just in the text format. Okay, so um, there's my model, and I had my, my time values that I, I wanted as well. Now, the, the other thing I want to do is create a MATLAB script that can then run this model and be able to calculate the values. So what I'm going to do in MATLAB is go ahead and first of all clear everything. So when I run this script again I want to clear all my variables, close all my plots, and clear the screen. 
Um, I want to add path to this APM. Um, okay, so this is um, a collection of of uh, uh, toolboxes or a toolbox to uh, support the AP Monitor modeling language. So, um, also if you um, want to download that, um, you can come again to apmonitor.com, come over to the the MATLAB interface. Um, and then you can download um, the APM library here. Okay, so that's one way to get it. I've also included it in this um, in this download, so you don't have to download that folder as well. Okay, so that we're going to go ahead and add a path to that. So when I call functions, it'll know to go and look there. Okay, and then um, we're going to do first of all the numerical solution. Okay, so this is how you solve uh, those equations. You use the APM underbar solve command. Uh, we're going to give it the, the name of our files. So we have the APM model and also the CSV file. And those are just CO. Okay. And uh, this is a simulation mode, a dynamic simulation mode. And that's going to return it to the Y variable. Okay. I'm just going to assign, um, it comes back as a structure. I'm just going to pick out one element of that um, and assign it to Z. And then uh, let's just go ahead and create a figure now. Okay. So I'm going to plot uh, the time weighted average. Okay, and put a line width of two. I'm going to make it a red dashed line there. I'm going to hold on to that plot because I'm going to plot some other things like the uh, CO concentration and uh, then also the uh, CO exact um, concentration as well. Okay, so now I want to get a couple lines on here as well. Um, this is going to be um, the time weighted average limit uh, from the OSHA standards and then also the maximum of 200 as well. Um, I'm going to put a legend on here too. Okay, so this legend is going to be um, just labeling the different um, the different plots. Okay, it, um, and then I'm going to change the axis to uh, between zero and eight hours and zero and 205 uh, ppm on the y-axis. Okay, we have our x label is going to be in hours, and then our y label is uh, concentration ppm. And uh, let's go ahead and also put in the explicit or the exact solution, uh, the analytic solution that we derived. Okay, so I just uh, went ahead and copied this in. Um, I had uh, 10 time periods. Here's my pressure, temperature, ideal gas, constant, um, and uh, on down. And then that was the exact solution that we had uh, calculated before. Okay, and that will be plotted right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, and just go ahead and save this and then I'm going to run it by clicking this run button right here and it's going to do a couple of things it's going to open up a uh, web page okay so this is it displays you know you can look at the solution here for example the uh, concentration of CO over uh, the, the time in minutes okay this is in I should have changed that to minutes uh, but there's the ppm uh, right there and then also the integrated um, value as well. Okay, so you can see the integral of that and then also the time. Okay, so here's time. So you can select these different values and, and come up with the different uh, plots, but I put them all onto one plot here in MATLAB. Okay, just to be able to see um, the, uh, the time weighted average limit. Okay, so with the 0.1 milliliters per second, it looks like the time weighted average value will be under the uh, maximum allowable by OSHA. Okay, so this is the instantaneous value that goes up. And you can also see the black dots, which are the analytic solution. Okay, so the numeric and the analytic uh, solutions, they agree uh, very well. Okay, so let's go on to, um, let's go on to Python now. And then just try this in, uh, in Python as well. Okay, so we, we calculated that in, um, first in MATLAB. We're going to do this in Python now. We're going to import um, this APM library, okay, apm.py. And again, if you want to grab that, uh, it's going to be in the download folder, but you can also come back um, here and grab the toolbox from the Python interface, and it's available uh, right down um, here. So you just download it, and then you can grab that file, or it's going to be in the download folder uh, that I included with this example. Okay, um, then the next thing we want to do is just get NumPy in there. That's a standard uh, numeric uh, analysis uh, package as well. And then we'll also do some plotting with matplotlib. Those are also freely available. Okay, we're going to issue this command uh, like we did in MATLAB. 
um, just the APM solve command. Um, you know, solving our uh, CO uh, model. Um, we have the CO.APM and CO.CSV, and it'll load those, and then solve it and return the answer to Y. Okay, and now we want to go ahead and create a new figure. Um, its syntax is very similar to, to MATLAB. We're going to get the time weighted average with a red uh, dashed line, uh, CO um, as well with the blue dash, um, and then um, also we're going to uh, put our limits here, uh, 35 and then also 200. Uh, get our legend on there as well, X label and Y label, and uh, change our axis just to adjust it. And then we'll show the plot. Okay. And so if I come to F5 or do run this module, then uh, I'm going to see that um, it computed this solution and we had the same answer that we had in the prior example. Okay, so that concludes this, um, this demonstration. Um, just make sure when you're, um, when you're going through this example that um, you, know, you update uh, the values with the, the ones for your particular application. And you can do that here in the, uh, in the parameter section. Okay, so, um, and, and I'll also post um, this video um, as well to um, this page. Um, and you can, as I mentioned before, you know, come back and see this part one if you need help with deriving the equation.